All right, I'm here today with the Cooler Master Hyper 212. This is a brand new product. This is gonna be a big seller. This is a really, really cool heat sink and fan uh, for whatever type of processor uh, or motherboard combination you use because this is one of those uh, multi socket ones that'll fit on just about anything. So, very happy to actually have this. It's a really cool design and this is gonna be something that, uh, you know, it's not meant to be the super high end, but it, and it's not meant to be a cheap one either. It's meant to be right in the middle and it gives you that extremely high performance, but at a great price. If you're on a budget, you don't want to use your factory cooler. You're going to want to overclock significantly, but not crazy. You don't need a very, you know, $70, $80 heat sink and fan, or you don't want to spend a hundred and some odd dollars on water cooling. This is going to be right up your alley. So let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. As you can see, it's a pretty big cooler. This is definitely not for somebody who has a very small case. It will fit in most mid towers, but it is quite large. So make sure that you go onto the website and check the specs on it. As far as size goes, you can pretty much figure this is a 120 millimeter fan. So you need to be able to fit at least a 120 millimeter plus these extra like two inches down here uh, you know in your case above your motherboard before it hits the actual uh, side of your case so uh, it's a large heat pipe design it's a big tower design you got four uh, on each side four heat pipes are all copper on each side aluminum fins so that's very cool if you look at the bottom very nice heat pipe design. There's actually uh, there's that nickel plating. Oh, got a lot of glare there. Hang on. All right, there you go. So you know they usually have those nickel uh, the nickel plating on the outside to prevent oxidization and corrosion or whatever when they're sitting on the store shelves. This one has nothing. It's pure copper, so that's going to be very good for conducting all the heat that your CPU can throw at it. And uh, if I don't know if you can zoom in and see me put the razor on it, pretty much completely flat. If you throw a light back here, you're not going to get anything going through, so you're not going to need to lap this or spend extra time uh, using sandpaper to get it completely fat because it comes completely flat from the factory. So, very cool. Now, what else can I tell you? It's pretty much gonna fit all your sockets. So if you're using an AMD chip, your 754, your 939, your 940, uh, 940? Yeah, 940, AM2 Plus, et cetera. And if you're using Intel, it's gonna fit the socket 775. So you're not gonna be putting this on a Pentium, on the old school Pentium 4s. This is only gonna fit on the later, you know, socket 775. But it does come with pretty much every bracket you would want, so you're gonna pretty much be able to use this on any computer setup that you currently have. Now, what else? Uh, three pin motherboard connector. Just in case you wanted to know, that is the three pin. It's not anything else. The fan on here is a 120. It lights up blue. It is an LED fan. And it also comes, I don't know if you see, like see this mounts right here to the plate. Well, there's another plate right on the other side. So that means you can add another 120 on the other side, which would increase your performance further. That's a pretty cool little uh, good thing that they put the plate on there for you. So you can add that 120. Then you can do a push pull and you'll get even more flow through here to uh, remove more heat from your CPU, let you overclock further. And it's great. Now, talking about the fan, it's a 120, obviously, 2,000 RPMs, 19 decibels, flows 70 CFM. Not bad, right, guys? I think it's pretty, pretty good, nice and quiet, not too, not too crazy. All right, it's not that exciting. Calm down, Randy. No, it's not available in pink. All right, so, uh, <laughs> what else? 50,000 uh, hours, mean time to break failure or between failures, depending on how you want to say that. So that means it's going to last a very, very long time, even running 24-7. So excellent, excellent CPU uh, cooler from Cooler Master. It's at a great price. It's not super high hand, but it does give you extremely high performance. I was looking at a few websites that did reviews on this uh, this item right here, and they were getting some performance that was comparable to the uh, some of the really high-end ones like the Thermalrite Ultra Extreme 120, which is one of my personal favorites. So very cool. If you have any questions on this, on cooling your CPU in general, whether it be with this cooler or other coolers, air cooling, water cooling, phase cooling, CO2 cascade, liquid nitrogen, whatever you want to talk about, go ahead and email me here. I'll see you guys next time. For more information, oh wait, hey wait, 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 come back, bring me back, bring me back. I forgot to tell you guys, if you uh, bought this and you need to get uh, thermal grease, don't worry about it because it's already in the box included right there. So, all right, now we'll continue. For more information on the Cooler Master Hyper 212 heatsink and fan, go to CompUSA.com and type in C283-3022 into the search box. Or you can always call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 1-800-COMP-USA.